when we wanted to construct the position of an image by using ray diagrams either in the case of a concave lens or a convex lens what are the things we need to understand is like first of all what is the position of a object position of an object okay and what is the focal length of the given lens then what is the nature of the lens based on this information we will be able to know what is the nature of the image formed and where it can be formed how it is formed let us consider the case of a concave lens in the case of a concave lens we will initially place the object at infinite distance then if i need to know the position of the image formed i need to consider parallel beam of light coming from the object and passing through the lens so in this case where i'll have a parallel beam of light passing through the concave lens so concave lens being a divergent lens after passing through the lens these light rays will diverge away from each other they appear to come from a single point on the principal axis which is nothing but the principal focus on the other side that means the image is formed at the principal focus it is very very highly diminished image the image is of point size because all the light rays which are passing through the lens appear to come from the single point f2 which is the principal focus of the lens so here we can say that the image is highly diminished okay it is erect with respect to the object and it is virtual virtual in the sense it cannot be caught on a screen so this will be the nature of the image formed by a concave lens when an object is placed at infinite distance now we bring the object from infinite distance near to the lens at some distance okay so here oj is the object so point o on the object is resting on the principal axis i am taking the point o of the object on the principal axis j is at the other end i wanted to know the position of the image from this object distance so what will i do i will take a light ray from the point j on the object and i will take it parallel to the principal axis second thing i will take another light ray from the same position j of the object oj and this time i will take it through the optic center now whenever a light ray is passing through the optic center we know that it will not have any deviation and it will go straight okay so in this case what is happening this particular light ray is passing straight through the optic center o now these two rays are intersecting at one point okay so this point of intersection of these two divergent rays will give me the position of the image so image ig is formed at the point of intersection of these two light rays so one light ray which is passing through the optic center of the lens and another light ray which is passing parallel to the principal axis after refraction which is appearing to come from the focus of the concave lens these two rays appear to meet at one point so that point is the point where the image ig is formed so image ig of what of the object oj is formed now however the distance i move the object close towards the lens the nature of the image formed in the case of a concave lens is the same what is the nature here the size of the image is smaller than that of the object so we say it is a diminished image okay and the image is erect with respect to the object so if the object is upright the image is also upright it's not upside down okay now and third point is like we will not be able to catch this image of the object formed by a concave lens on a screen so this will be the nature of the image formed by a concave lens here one point to be noted is that if at all i move the object little bit closer to the optic center of the lens then there is a change in the orientation of this 
light rays from the j position of the object. The one thing is constant that the light ray which is passing parallel to the principal axis after passing through the two surfaces of the lens concave lens here will divert away will appear to come from the point f2 that there is no change in that particular light ray but what changes is the light ray which is passing through the optic center as we move the object closer to the optic center the image appears to be becoming larger in size however large it may be it cannot be greater than the size of the object so in all these cases where irrespective of the position of the object the image formed by a concave lens will be always smaller in size compared to that of the object that means we will say it is diminished second thing is it will always be erect and third point is finally we it will be always a virtual image which cannot be caught on a screen hope this is clear to you